On behalf of For the Family, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 6th Annual National Fam Awards. I'm Ward Cox, and this video will lift your spirits with the wealth of kindness that is everywhere to be seen. It's just one way that we spread kindness of the heart from coast to coast. Our nonprofit agency was honored to present Family Flame Awards on the Friday before Thanksgiving to those who particularly excel at the art of caring in 13 different categories. A pair of Shining Star Awards were also handed out. Smartphone video nominations came from across America and from across the ocean. The people and acts they describe richly deserve to be recognized in their own extraordinary light. Each nominee selected as the best in their respective category earned a Family Flame Award and a $100 gift card. Both Shining Star Awards included a $50 gift card. However, when it comes to showing what comes naturally, every video shines, just like the actions that keep communities connected through our challenges. Please keep that in mind even as optimism ebbs and flows. It's one reason why For the Family is producing 30-second PSAs that encourage hope and renewal. You'll see one of them shortly. Thanks in advance for excusing the fact that smartphone videos aren't recorded at the same volume or proportion and occupy different parts of the screen. However, the quality of the people being featured comes through loud and clear. When it comes to quality people, you'd be hard pressed to find a better group than the college interns that have been involved with kindness of the heart during the past year. They attend universities of every size in every part of America, but share a creative intelligence that has been a pivotal factor in reinforcing our national presence. For the Family has official partnerships with schools that include Michigan State, Oregon State, Auburn, California State University at Fullerton, James Madison University, and the University of Tampa. In fact, students from 14 universities participate in our internship program and many will be featured throughout the awards ceremony. While some of their videos are lighthearted, we're proud that each intern is dead serious when it comes to kindness of the heart. Another aspect of this ongoing celebration of the positive is our Kindness Counts partnership with the seventh largest school district in America. Its elements include monthly videos that For the Family creates to encourage elementary school students in their kindness. These are being seen by students in New Jersey and Arizona, in addition to Hillsborough County, Florida. You'll be able to see one of them as well. We're especially grateful to have the opportunity to pay special tribute to people whose kindness shines in their occupation. Education and healthcare professionals are standing strong against the pandemic, and their videos convey an example that we can all follow. For the Family is spreading kindness of the heart thanks to what it shares in common with school systems, universities, nonprofits, businesses, faith-based organizations, and the public sector. A good example is how we're collaborating with the City of St. Petersburg, Florida in CareFest Fall and CareFest Spring. Both events encourage residents to play a positive role in activities that strengthen neighborhoods by making them more livable. They each coincide with the National Days of Kindness, which highlights the good deeds of people who describe what they did in smartphone videos as the seasons change. These are honored both in their own right and during the National Fam Awards. WTOG Channel 44 generously agreed to broadcast public service announcements that promoted CareFest, the National Days of Kindness, and Kindness of the Heart. You'll see one of the PSAs that WTOG and For the Family jointly produced. For the Family is supremely confident that the positive side of human nature will emerge victorious even when we're overexposed to the alternative. That's why our mission is to enable caring people to honor the golden rule by being each other's keeper. We know that kindness has no borders and no limits. You'll also see that fact illustrated here. That's why the 7th Annual National Fam Awards will take place on November 18th, 2022. Once again, the Friday before Thanksgiving. I'm excited about what the future will hold for kindness of the heart between now and then. May it be even brighter for us all. Thank you again for being kind yourself, and God bless. We hope you enjoy the video. Focusing on what we can count on is more important than ever. One thing we need to count on is our own good judgment. Caution is part of good judgment. It is better to be safe than sorry. 
The more we're cautious about how our actions affect other people, the more we're actually all in this together. Your positive example can lead the way. Pay it forward and pass it on. Hi, I'm Ward Cox from For the Family. Everybody knows what pain feels like. It's certainly no fun. If someone thinks it's fun to make other people hurt, shame on them. There's too much bad stuff going on already. If you see someone being picked on, don't just look the other way. Bullies can't stand against people who stand together. If we all do that, bullies will back off and bullying will fade away. Remember, a bully can target just about anybody. You could be next. Bullies can't be cool when kindness counts. Blood. Hi, my name is Kate. I'm the executive director of the Leukemia and Lymphoma chapter of CSUF. And I would like to nominate our president, Ms. Alexis Ruiz. Um, she's been really good at stepping in during like the middle of a pandemic and raising so much money for blood cancer. Um, Last year, um, our team made $13,000 in a fundraiser, and just she's really stepped up when we needed her most, and yeah, I'd like to nominate her. And then what is your email? Oh, my email is petach at csu.fullerton.edu. All right, thank you. Hello, I would like to nominate Samantha Weinstein for the Family Flame Award in the category Kindness and Adver Adversity. She showed kindness to others while she was struggling caring for her mother who was battling breast cancer. She spent her senior year of high school in difficult classes while working a job at the local market and going home to take care of her mother. She would often think of her friends by bringing them food and treats from the market and dropping them off before heading home to care for her mom. She would always have others in mind even though she was going through difficult circumstances. I really appreciate her kindness and I hope that inspires you too. Hi, my name is Cindy Morris and I want to give a shout out to the 400 plus employees of the Department of Health in Hillsborough County, also known as the Hillsborough County Health Department. They are always working behind the scenes, protecting the health of our community and then COVID hit. And of course, they just stepped up as they normally do. This past year, I was diagnosed with leukemia and the staff reached out to me with over hundreds of cards, well wishes, thoughts and prayers. I couldn't ask for a better family for over 36 years. They even created this wonderful shirt for me as I fight the fight. And they also created a shirt for them, sending their love and prayers and thoughts. Hi, my name is Mick Hoyle, and for my video, I would like to shout out my mom when I think of someone who just exemplifies kindness and goodness. It's her, um, especially being at college. She is somebody that I can always turn to. I know she's never more than a phone call away, um, and especially for someone in college, that's really important to know that I always have that person to turn back on and talk to her. Um, she's so sweet, so caring, so outgoing. Um, she really knows how to make my day feel better when I'm having a bad day. She knows how to make me laugh. She knows what makes me smile, all those kinds of things. And I am so very, very grateful to have her in my life. So my mom, to me, is the best example of someone who is a very kind, a very good, and a very caring person. Uh, I like to talk about my mom. So I'm grateful to have her in my life. She's a real nice person with everyone and with me. Uh, so was there when I need her. Real kind person, kind with everyone and nice with everyone they needed. She uh, it's a big help for me. It's always been there and 
I know she's gonna be there whenever I need her. Uh, the worst times, the best times, she's always been there, obviously. Uh, great to have people like that and uh, aspire to be like that one day. Yes, yeah, nice and her for everyone and go to be a person like that. When I think of a good, kind, generous person, I always think of my mother. Throughout her entire life, she's tirelessly given back to her community, volunteering on nights and weekends, in addition to running a construction business. She really sees people for who they are, lack of judgment, and understands that we all come from different circumstances and appreciates that and offers support where she can. And to this day, she acts as almost my moral compass and guide of an example of how I wanna be. And so I always return to those thoughts and try to volunteer with the same passion that she has and the same love that she has and see people with the goodness in their hearts as she does. So I would just like to acknowledge my mom, Joan Waldy Savage. Um, thank you for teaching me so well. I'm proud to be your daughter. Are you amazed by what's happening? One thing after another. Well, let's remember all the good people that help. We're in every neighborhood, and you can prove we're stronger than what ails us. When you see people caring about others, describe them in a video and email it to ForTheFamilyTampa at gmail.com. Caring beats conflict. Pay it forward and pass it on. Hi, my name is Alyssa Mastraco and someone who I believe is very nice and kind has to be my best friend Becca's mom, Miss Jill. This lady is the sweetest woman I've ever met. She would go to the moon and back for anyone that she loves and cares about. She has done so much for me and my brother. Um, I know her house is always open for me whenever I need it and she's always there to listen whenever I need to talk and she is just someone who would give you the shirt off the back off of their backs she is someone who embodies kindness and what it means to be kind and giving towards others and she is just one of the sweetest pure-hearted women I have ever met and this is why I think she is one of the most kind people I have ever met in my entire life. <laughs> Hi, my name is AJ. I'm a vice principal at a K-8 elementary school and I would like to nominate Diane Beck, our school nurse, because she is so kind to all the kids that come into her office. She treats everyone with love and respect and kindness. She also helps all the staff members that have headaches or injuries. She's just here to help everyone. She puts a smile on my face every day and um, she's kind of like my right hand person. I just love her to death and I think she does an amazing job and that's the person I think um, that brings joy to our school. She's one of many, but she's definitely uh, a number one in my heart. The person I would like to honor for the Kindness of the Heart initiative is my roommate, Ranj Sadhu. Ranj is someone who exemplifies kindness in everyday life. He's very generous, always caring about what other people have to say and what's on their mind. In my apartment in particular, he makes sure my roommates and I are always on track and you know, often promotes us hanging out, being social, having a good uh, work and life balance. And I know I can always come to Ranj with any problems, personal, academic problems. He's always there for me and basically anyone else in his uh, social circles. Um, he's just a very kind person, selfless, and uh, I'm glad I could honor him with this video. Hello everyone, my name is Suneza Ahmad. I attend um, California State University at Fullerton. 
And the individual that I'd like to nominate for a Family Flame Award is my late aunt, Krisha Bibi Sheikh. She was pretty much an embodiment of kindness of the heart. She had kindness for pretty much anyone and everything. So she took care of her neighbors. She took care of her family. She took care of um, her clients who were elderly disabled individuals who needed help for all aspects of life and she took care of all their needs she also took care of plants she had a green thumb and her backyard was pretty evident of that so she had kindness for things that couldn't speak either and she loved animals you know she took care of chickens um she had a farm and all these things just made her an amazing human being and i think she really deserves an award for that um, thank you very much. Hey, this is Red from Parma, Ohio. For my act of kindness, I want to give a big shout out to my dad, Danny. He goes above and beyond to make our family and friends happy. He has a heart of gold. Love you, Dad. Thanks. Thanks for everything. My name is Nicholas Mastraco, and one person I look up to is my dad. I look up to him because I can always turn to him if I need help, which I think is a quality that a lot of people need to have so you can be a kinder person, because it's always good to look after people, and it's always nice to help other people as well, and that's what he's able to do for us. He's, I also look up to him because he gives us guidance on what we should do in life, and he tells us if what decisions we need to make and whether they're the right ones or the wrong ones, and he always points us in the right direction. Hi, I'm Kelly Flowers. I have been trying to teach my children acts of kindness. And so this is our latest experience with the children. So uh, my mom, sister, and me, we were driving and we saw a homeless man and a dog. So my sister said, we have to do something. So my mom drove to Publix to get food and water for the dog. And we drove back and gave food and water to the dog and the dog was really happy he started what waving his tail and then the man was really happy and then he gave us all a hug kindness matters my name is mitchell holden and i would like to shout out to vanessa nicholson of marion alabama for uh as a school historian tracking down a 70 year old yearbook for an alumni that wanted to find a yearbook from his class year but nobody could find one um this act was so kind that when she found it and brought it to the alumni he was so grateful he donated five million dollars to the school and created a relationship with the school that is unmatched thanks hi michelle bremer here and I would like to discuss the random act of kindness that my employer, Colonial Life, is participating in. We received um, a box of 100 yellow tulip bulbs, which our parent company, Unum, sent in recognition of mental health illness. And we were to potentially give them out to all of our office um, employees and and agents in the area and what I we decided to do was contact a local school um, we contacted a K through 8 school in the area and they are creating a hope garden with the bulbs and um, we're donating them we're going to help them plant them and their special needs students are planting them in honor of the mental health illness um, to break the stigma and bring awareness I don't know that I can think of just one moment when someone was kind or did an act that just stuck out. Um, but to me, kindness is friendship. It's when people support you through like everything, whether or not they agree with what you're doing, whether or not they agree with who you're talking to. It's just that support regardless of what's happening and being there for you. What is kindness to me? Kindness to me is giving to others when they don't have it when you just want to show you know 
a positive side of humanity. Spread love, spread joy, spread happiness to somebody to just brighten up somebody's day in a way. I remember a time where um, me and my friends were actually all going on a trip our senior year of high school to compete in this international competition for this health careers program that we were doing. And one of our friends um, really wanted to compete. She came in first place in her category and was going to international, but she didn't have enough money. Um, her family was kind of struggling at the time. And so me and my friends fundraised in order to find her the funds that she needed to go on the trip. And we were all able to have a wonderful trip. And she even did great in her international competition. So we were really glad that she got to go with us and to just be able to have that experience. Being kind to one another does matter because you don't know what one act of kindness can change a person's life. Be kind. I'm a recent graduate of Grand Valley State University and I'm the social media coordinator for For the Family. I wanted to nominate Fanula Farrell for a FAM award for her constant acts of kindness. Fanula has been a hospital nurse throughout the global pandemic and without people like her we wouldn't be able to make it through these unprecedented times. I wanted to both thank her and recognize her for her selfless service during these difficult times. This is Amy from Chicago, and I just wanted to send a little bit of love to my best friend, Ren. Uh, we've been friends for about five years now since freshman year of high school, and they've just stuck by me through everything, through friend troubles, relationship troubles, family troubles, and especially in the past two years, they've just proved to me that best friends really are a thing. Um, thank you, Ren, for sticking by my side all of this time, and I sincerely hope that we can stay friends from years to come. Hi, my name's Amber Anderson and I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And I just wanted to give a quick shout out to one of my friends, Ai Hoi. I've only known her about eight months, but we hit it off instantly and she quickly became one of my closest friends. She's one of the sweetest, nicest people I have ever met and I know that I can count on her for anything. The pandemic hit me pretty hard emotionally as it did with a lot of people and she came into my life at a point in time where I really appreciated the extra support. And I know that my life's better for having her in it. In order to spread some positivity, I would like to give a big, big shout out to my best friend, Tamana. Throughout the past year, she's been very supportive of me and she's always been encouraging me when I'm dealing with a lot of things. She's always motivating me to do better and to not give up. And when things are hard, she's always telling me things that I need to hear myself. Throughout the past year, she's been very, very kind to me. And I remember even during the beginning of the pandemic, I was pretty bummed because I couldn't spend my 18th birthday with my friends and family. And she got video messages from all of my friends and she put it together and made a montage out of it. And she sent it to me on my birthday and it was the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. So I'm very, very grateful for her and I would like to give a big shout out to her. Hi, my name is Gerberson and I go to Lewis Elementary School. So um, my mom showed me an email about the kindness thing and they said that I only had to do one thing, but instead of that, I did one thing every day. So it was kind of like good, and some of them were hard. There was like some easy stuff, like holding the, call, the door for 37 people. And the, one of the hard stuff was trying to, to help stop an argument. And I think like the um, the helping and kindness thing is good because you never know what goes around people, like what happens at their house and stuff. So you always got to make them feel welcome and hear the stuff. I think that an act of kindness I had had someone do for me was when I was entering middle school and it was a very um, hard time for a lot of us transitioning from the elementary school to middle school phase. 
everyone was feeling weird, no one really knew anyone, and the few friends that I did have, I remember not being on the same lunch break as them, and I remember walking into the cafeteria and sitting down at a table by myself because I was too nervous to make any new friends or talk to anyone, and I just remember sitting there with anxiety, and I was like, everyone's looking at me, I don't know what to do, I'm just sitting here. And I just wanted to get up and go home and cry because I was so overwhelmed with the thought of sitting alone um, and being in a new school by myself. And this one girl came over and sat next to me and introduced herself. And she was just like, let's sit and have lunch together. And then every day from then on, we had lunch together and it was great. Hi, I'm Jess. Um, the random act of kindness someone did for me once was when I was, when I turned 20, um, I had to work on my birthday and because of that I couldn't sell my birth celebrate my birthday so everyone like sent happy birthday texts and all that stuff which I appreciated a lot but my friends back home um, actually surprised me on my birthday while I was working to toward well, working during my shift which I didn't expect and I thought it was really kind they brought me my like a birthday cake and a birthday present and even sang to me while I was working and I just thought it was so um, kind of them. I didn't expect that at all and I really appreciate it and that's why one of the reasons why they're really my best friends. So, yeah. So I'm in my basement right now and I took some of my sister's laundry. I only had like very little laundry to do. So I figured since I'm home all day, I could do some of my sister's laundry. She works like five times a week at a school. I think she is an aide, a, a teacher's aide. Um, and I figured why not, like let me help her do some of her laundry because she only really gets off weekends where I get at least three days off a week. So give some weight off of her shoulders and I don't know how she's gonna feel, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rachel Ibarra from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I just wanted to nominate Darwin Harris for his acts of kindness. Darwin is a law student in West Virginia who always makes sure that people are advocated for. He does his part to volunteer in the community, to always reach out to those in need, and to be a consistent friend to myself and many others in his life to make sure that we're taken care of and just doing well and always reaching out to see what ways that he can make a change in our lives and in the lives of those in his community as well. A person I think is kind in my life is my grandma. Um, she's just so kind to everyone else. Um, whenever I visit her, she always wants to give me something. Like I never leave her house with like nothing in my hands, whether it's like a sweater or a fruit or food. Um, she's just very generous and always wants to take care of me. Um, she just has no hate in her heart and um, I just love that about her. She's just the nicest person and she's uh, such an angel to me. My name is Abby and I'm from Michigan and I just wanted to give a shout out to my grandma Lois for being the absolute embodiment of the word kindness. She was a parapro for 30 years and she absolutely loves children. She has had cancer since 2012 and she's still here helping out everyone that she can. She helped my mom raise me into the person that I am today and I'm just really thankful that she taught me about what it means to be kind and to have empathy and I'm glad that I can share it with the world today. So thanks grandma, love you. If I have to describe someone that is kind, the first person that comes to mind is my grandmother. One of the first memories I have of her is her helping the kids that were on the streets back in Honduras and all her, their parents and their families and always giving them whatever she had on her, whatever she was able to come up with, even if she didn't have much, she was always giving. 
and not only to them always to the people in her community that needed it and her neighbors who weren't as fortunate as her to have things she was always there and she always is there to help everyone and show kindness um my name is um stevenson and i'm a senior at eastern connecticut state university i'm 22 and from Stratford, Connecticut. I'm currently um, majoring in communications and minoring in business administration. So for my nomination, I would like to nominate my closest friend, Maria. She's always there to help me out with things, plan out, even if I'm stressed. Um, a specific example is um, during exam week, I was stressing out over exams as everybody does. And then she just took me out and went out to the bar and basically partied, which was really fun, so. Hi, my name is Andrea and I want to nominate my coworker Lucy for her kindness. Um, she always puts others before herself. If she buys something that she thinks you'll like, she'll bring you some to work. Even though she's almost 80 years old and she works with a bunch of teenagers and 20-somethings, she's always offering to do the work herself so others don't have to, and that's why I'm nominating her. When I think of kindness, I think of my boss, Casey Kenzie. Casey Kenzie has treated each and every person, including me, like one of her own, which is why she has acclaimed the nickname Mama Llama. Um, every day as I go into work, she makes sure not only to check on me um, work-wise, but to check on me personally. She loves every employee of hers to be emotionally stable as well as physically stable and mentally stable. So that is the best thing that I could ever say about her because she loves us unconditionally. Caring about others makes neighborhoods better and everyone stronger. You can help St. Pete shine one neighborhood at a time during CareFest Fall through October 17th. It's what the National Days of Kindness are all about. Describe your kind act in a smartphone video. Email it to ForTheFamilyTampa at gmail.com and you could earn a Family Flame Award at the National Fam Awards. Learn more about CareFest at stpete.org. Thanks for caring. I wanted to nominate Dana Reed for the Kindness Award. She exudes what kindness is. She's always giving to others. Uh, she give you just the, whatever she can, um, especially when it comes to feeding family and friends. And just to show you a little bit about, you know, if you ever are in need of any type of groceries, uh, she's there to offer you that assistance and kindness. She also helps the helps out others like with child care, if they have special needs kids or anything like that. She's donating her time, her her faith. Everybody loves Dana. Everybody calls her Auntie Dana, even if you're not related to her, because she's always giving you those auntie qualities um, and helping out everyone around her. So I definitely want to make sure that she gets the recognition that she deserves for always being there for others, um, even when uh, times are the toughest for people she comes through so thank you thank you auntie dana so uh as an act of kindness i want to give a shout out uh in appreciation of my buddy tyler martin uh we've been best friends since i was probably eight or nine years old and He's been a very good supporting role in my life, my friends, uh, for the entirety of my life until today even. And uh, he's just a really good buddy. We go back real far and I appreciate everything he does and he does a really lot for everybody else. My sister is nice because she always covers my sis at work whenever I'm not feeling good. And she does it without even asking. Yeah. Something someone did that was kind was my older sister teaching me how to roller skate and me and my cousin because she brought the roller skates over the summer and she taught me how to do it and 
we usually go outside during the middle of the night or in broad daylight in our backyard well not backyard our driveway and she would show me how to do it by bending my back <laughs> bending my knees and bending my back and putting my arms out My name is Vina Tran and this is Nike and I'm an intern for Kindness of the Heart. I attend Cal State Fullerton in California and I'm majoring in psychology. I will be graduating this year so I'm like, pretty excited about that. The person I want to nominate is William Doe who is a person that is friendly and caring. He has made a huge impact on my life and he's basically like my backbone. Um, not only that, he is kind because he takes care of the stray cats in my neighborhood, making sure that they're healthy and fed. And um, recently, there was an older stray cat that kept getting in fights because he wasn't neutered. Um, so William took the initiative to take the stray cat to the vet and get the cat neutered. And then he ended up falling in love with that cat and decided to name the cat after their Pokemon Charizard. Hello, my name is Sierra and I live in New York and I would like to nominate my little Tara as someone who I believe represents kindness. Tara, for as long as I've known her, has been someone who can find the good in anyone and she preaches being kind to others as well as being kind to yourself. She has personally taught me that you can find the good in anyone and everyone has qualities that you can admire regardless of if you particularly get along with that person or if they have a similar background or you as you. Um, that you can really just find something to relate with with every single person on this planet and I think that is truly amazing. Hey guys, it's Brianna from Constantine, Michigan. I just wanted to take the time out of my day to give a special little shout out to my beautiful little sister, Soraya. She has helped me through so much stuff over this past year and I cannot put into words how grateful I am to her for always being there and willing to listen to me and let me rant or give me advice or make me laugh. She can make anyone laugh. She has not only helped me, but so many others over the years and I just appreciate her so much. She's literally the embodiment of kindness. Thank you guys for listening and I love you, Soraya. Hello, my name is Gloria Gutierrez and I work at an elementary school in the front office. I would like to nominate my sister, Lisa Sierra, who actually is my younger sister, but I truly do look up to her as a role model. Lisa works at a different elementary school in a special needs classroom, and she works with students who have uh, severe special needs. And the reason why I picked her is because Lisa does her job with so much grace and love and compassion for her students. Um, she goes above and beyond all the time and she just does everything with excellence for her class. Uh, she is admired by her staff that she works with and all of the families that she works with. Uh, she truly is a role model and a blessing to many people. And that is why I picked my sister, Lisa. I nominate my mom because she always makes me food when I'm hungry and she's generally always a very supportive person and supports me in everything that I want to do. And she also always gives me ride pl rides places when I need it. And she's just generally a really great mom. My name is Kenitza Carrillo and I nominate my mom for kindness. Um, the reason that I nominate my mom is because she works so hard to maintain our home and she is a safe person that people could come and talk to and she just makes people laugh all around and I really appreciate her for that. Okay, who inspires me? I could give some cliche answer like Jesus, but no one lives that perfect kind of life. So really the person that inspires me the most would be my dad. Uh, he is and always has been a fantastic provider, a hard worker. We've always lived a good life. 
learn the value of a dollar and fairness with him. Uh, I think I got my work ethic from him as well. Maybe it took a while to get there, but um, my dad is, uh, he always worked hard, always provided for us, and I always try to strive for that. So my dad is my inspiration. Someone who is a role model to me is my mom. She supports me in everything I do. She loves me for who I am. She is always cheering me on on the sidelines and lifting my spirits up when I am down. When I don't do well as on an exam, she is someone I go to to make me feel better. And she reminds me that I did the best that I could. And she reminds me that life isn't all about grades. She gives great advice whether I want to hear it or not. She's also raised me and shaped me into the person I am today. The act of kindness I'm going to talk about is done by my mom um, after I ended my long relationship. Um, she sent me a card and a stuffed animal and told me in the card that every time I hug the stuffed animal, it's a hug from her because I missed her and I'm so far away from my family and I'm very grateful. I've been asked to talk about someone I thought was so special in my life and who I found to be very kind and considerate and really just plain awesome. Well, I'm going to nominate at this time my son, Daniel Joseph Laetta. Um, I knew from the beginning when he was a young boy that he would be something special and kind and good-hearted. From the day that he first invited a young lady who had multiple physical disabilities to a little dance at the at the junior high school. Not many young men at his age would have done that, and he did. So I was very proud of him. Then he grew up to be one awesome doctor, absolutely kind, considerate, and loved by many of his patients, and especially his family. He's always there to help out, never asks anything in return, always willing and able to lend a hand. Married, now the father of two, beautiful young boys and a beautiful wife. And he continues to show his kindness, both to his wife, to his children, to his children's teams. He coaches all his children's little league games, basketball games, baseball games, never fails to help anyone who needs an extra hand, talks very tentatively to the children, is really one special human being. And as a son, has always been there to help me, to provide, to watch over, especially after the passing of his father, he became the next man in my life to take care of me. How lucky am I to have met an individual who is so kind, considerate, and good-hearted. And I've learned this through many of his patients, many of his family, many through outsiders who never knew he was my son, who have always praised him for his goodness, his patience, and his kindness. So I do recommend my son, Dr. Daniel Joseph Laetta, as a kind and considerate person. Thank you. Let me tell you about one of the kindest people I know, my son, Hunter. Hunter is the nicest kid you'd ever want to meet. He uh, is always willing to help when anyone needs, needs uh, a hand. Uh, when he was young, he used to, uh, after playing with his uh, friends or cousins, he'd, uh, if they wanted one of his toys, he'd gladly give it up to them. Uh, he also assists the teachers whenever they need a hand for anything. He helps make sandwiches at our local uh, church for the homeless. He is a counselor at our local camp for young children. Uh, he's also raised money for a local foundation uh, in honor of uh, a child who was uh, hit by a drunk driver. He really does empathize with people, uh, and wants to help them in any way he can. Uh, he's just literally one of the kindest people you'd ever want to meet and he would this world would be a better place if there were more people like him 
Hello, my name is Michelle and I'm an intern at the Kindness of the Heart. Um, I'm currently attending the University of South Florida and I'm majoring in psychology. So I just wanted to nominate um, a well-being promotion program that I am currently in at USF. And basically what we do is we try to increase happiness um, through proven ways of research. Um, for students, especially uh, between the ages of six and 18. And we kind of volunteer our time for them to be able to um, get these sessions for free. So I think that's really nice and kind of um, the trainees and the mentors to um, take the time to actually um, help these kids out. Hey guys, my name is Mindu and I wanted to give a shout out to my a really good friend, Deborah Song. She's been an amazing friend in the last few years who has supported me and pushed me and reminded me the whole purpose of path I've taken and certain things I've been trying to do for myself. And anytime I am slacking or feeling low, she just helps me remind myself and just direct me back to my path which i've always been very helpful and appreciative of hi guys it's ashley here um today i want to give a special shout out to someone who has been nothing but kind to me and who has supported me through everything and been with me throughout this past year and even before that we've been best friends for almost six years and i appreciate her very much Alyssa pazzo thank you so much for always being there and always having an open ear and willing to listen to anything I have to say. You never judge, and for that, I really do appreciate you. So thank you. Yeah. All right, I would like to nominate Chloe Patty for being an awesome friend and for showing, sharing her kindness to everybody on campus. She's very well known for random acts of kindness and just generally being a super kind person towards anyone she meets. Um, I'm sure she probably knows somebody from every single department. So um, thank you, Chloe, for being such a good friend and for just being your kind self. I'm going to dedicate this short speech to the person who made me gain confidence in myself and helped me find the beauty in the world we live in, Reese Nelson. Sometimes I think that we were supposed to be friends for a reason. I find it hard to believe it was just by coincidence. Every time I talk to her and she talks to her others, she spreads this aroma of happiness. Reese is someone who accepts you for who you are and respects you for being yourself. She's one of the main people that made me view other people differently, and I've never met anyone else like her. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for her. Thank you, Reese, and all my respect. Hi, my name is Vita Pan, and I'm from Philadelphia. I am nominating someone I consider one of my best friends. Um, they are very important to me, and I am stupendously attached to them. Um, their name is Kyla White, and I am just so grateful for them for being in my life they have always been there for me mentally and emotionally have always uh lended an ear when i needed it i have never met someone as kind and giving as them and as patient as well um yeah so they are very important to me i am forever grateful for them in my life Hello, my name is Rupa Singh. I'm from Constantine, Michigan, and I currently attend Trine University. I've been attending Trine University for four years. Um, I got my bachelor's just recently, May in May 2021, my bachelor's of psychology I earned at Trine University, and I'm going to receive my master's of criminal justice at Trine University in May of 2022. For the Family F Flame Award, I would really like to nominate my friend, my really, really good friend, Merit. Um, she's by far one of the most amazing people I have ever met, and I, I believe wholeheartedly she is the human embodiment of kindness itself. She's helped me through so many trials and tribulations that I've went through in my life and always is the one that I can depend on and help me with any kind of trouble, whether it would be anything from homework to um, personal issues that I don't feel comfortable talking with anyone else about. And I just think she's such an amazing human being and I would like to name, I would like to nominate her for this Family Flame Award. 
At a time when the value of education is not only questioned but willfully ignored, For the Family is proud to stand with those who keep the flame lit through the headwinds. Of course, knowledge comes from more than textbooks. These videos show just some of the kindness that's taught in schools of every description. Hi. So I'm Farbad uh, Mubarak and uh, I want to nominate Dr. Wiley Ahmed from the Physics Department for uh, my kindest person pick. Uh, he's my mentor and someone that I do my research with. And uh, I've just learned so much from them, not just for how to be a better scientist, but how to be a better person and uh, how to be a professional, really. And um, just the way that he deals with everybody and uh, the, the way he carries himself has taught me so much. And he's just so kind to everybody in Slam Lab. So go Dr. Ahmed. Hello, my name is Tammy Bauer and I work at Garden Lakes Elementary School as the instructional coach. The person that I would like to recognize for being kind is my assistant principal, Mrs. A.J. Estrada. And the reason why I would like to recognize her for her kindness is that she is always so genuine and um, so real with us. So you know that anytime you're speaking with Mrs. Estrada or you're looking for advice or have a question, she's always going to be incredibly honest and genuine with you. And that's such a true sign of kindness um, that she just always shows to everybody. So that is something that I value about her tremendously. Um, and she is also a person who will go above and beyond um, for anybody with any need. That includes all of us here as colleagues and friends, but it's so evident um, as she talks about her family and friends as well. So just going above and beyond for everybody, being incredibly honest and genuine. Those are just a few big characteristics that she has that represent kindness. Um, so fortunate to work with her. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Kathy Callahan and I'm a retired school teacher after teaching first and second grade for 35 years. I wanna nominate Krista Dean for the Family Award for her acts of kindness. Krista's, Krista is a second grade teacher and has been teaching for over 15 years now. I can't think of a better candidate for this award especially during this past year of COVID when she relentlessly continued to help children and parents through Zoom lessons to keep the children engaged in learning. Krista continues to show her passion for teaching in everything she does. As the kids are back in school this year, Krista has made her lessons interesting and exciting with all of the extra activities that she plans for them. I would like to thank her and all the teachers out there that worked through the pandemic last year. Thank you, Krista. Hello, my name is Miguel Reyna, and today I wanna talk about one of my direct supervisors. Her name is Elizabeth Boris, Dr. Elizabeth Boris, and I wanna explain to her why, or I wanna explain why she's kind. We live in a world that is often and compassionate and cruel to those that are different. It takes exceptional people, it takes exceptionally kind-hearted and patient people to see those who are different, to see those who are odd, and still treat them with dignity, respect, compassion, and even kindness. And I'm thankful that Elizabeth Boris is a type of person that sees people not for who they act or who they seem to be, but she sees the best in others and treats them on that potential. I am an intern for Kindness of the Heart. Um, this is my first semester with Kindness of the Heart. I would like to nominate my friend Hannah Hope for the category Caring About Others. Um, my friend Hannah is always super caring towards all of her friends and is super great about checking in with people all the time and exudes kindness to everyone that she meets. So yeah, I nominate Hannah Hope. Blood. 
Hi there, my name is Jessica Bennett. I am a part of the chapter Iota Upsilon of Delta Zeta. And I'd like to nominate my sorority Delta Zeta for the Family Flame Award uh, for the Starkey Hearing Foundation, which is our national philanthropic partner for speech and hearing. They raise money for the uh, speech and hearing impaired to provide hearing aids for those who can't afford it, as well as follow-up speech therapy and lessons as well. Hello, my name is Lasasha, founder and CEO of Love Lucent LLC. I would like to nominate Love Lucent for a Kindness Award for their commitment to community service and women's empowerment. Throughout the year, Love Lucent participates in several community service projects, such as a project we recently did where we raised over $1,000 to help renovate a domestic violence shelter in Baltimore, Maryland. We also host several community webinars about domestic violence, breast cancer awareness, survival, financial literacy webinars, and anything that we can do to support our community. We're also currently getting donations so that we can do a blanket drive for the homeless. We also donate um, dinners for Thanksgiving and just everyday needs for our communities. Good luck, Love Lucent. Good luck to all of the nominees and thank you for your kindness. Hi guys, my name is Tanya Pugh and I'm here for another kindness video. I go to Chamberlain University and um, my major is public health and I'm doing a nomination video. This nomination I'm doing is for Tasha uh, Peach. She owns a business called Love Luton and I think she's just a great person, you know, to do what she doing. She do a lot of community service um, and she do a lot of service for um, not just the community but for the members of her organization. And that's it. I just want to nominate her for the award. Bye. Hey, my name is Bailey Phillips. And I would like to give a shout out to my husband, CJ Phillips, for being the best nurse during the COVID pandemic. He saved so many lives and he just really made a difference and I'm so proud of him. My name is Allison Kirkland and I'd like to submit my husband, Mason Kirkland, for the Kindness Award. Mason is a fourth year medical student at the University of Alabama in Birmingham and he shows kindness every day when he heads to the hospital to take care of his patients. Mason worked so hard to always be an advocate and to always care um, and be there for all of his patients, um, no matter what's going on in their lives. Um, he worked so hard um, and many days that's waking up well before the sun's up and going to bed way after the sun is down. Um, he does this back to back and always does it with a smile on his face because he just loves to help others and he's always looking uh, to be the best person that he can be so that he can um, serve his patients so well. Um, I'm so thankful for him and I know that he's blessing the lives of so many people that he comes in contact with. I think he would be a great person for this award. It may be a cliche to thank healthcare professionals for all they're doing to keep the pandemic at bay, but the appreciation rings hollow at a time when we're so divided about what to do. As a result, nurses and doctors across the country have been assaulted by bereaved survivors who are convinced that COVID is a hoax. Many are hesitant to wear scrubs in public places because they fear being confronted by hostile skeptics. A Mental Health America survey found that 93% of the more than 1,100 healthcare professionals it questioned are seriously stressed out. 86% report feeling anxiety, while 77% are frustrated, 76% are mentally and physically exhausted, and 75% are overwhelmed. Of course, kindness is at the heart of healthcare, especially now. We believe these videos bring that point home better than words can. Okay. So my name is Yana Price. Um, I nominate Robert Pierce. Um, he's a co-worker. He is very um, loyal. He will help you any way he can. He um, comes to your aid, your rescue, when you don't ask him to do anything. He always steps up for the job. Uh, you can always call him. He's there for you anytime, day or night. I remember one time, it was about uh, 11 o'clock, 
and um, I wasn't feeling very well, and so I called, but he wasn't even on call. I called to see if he could go in for me, and he did. I couldn't believe it. So you don't find a lot of people that does that. So I nominated him. Hi, my name is Catherine, and I would nominate the labor and delivery nurse who helped deliver my son when he was born. She, um, she wasn't even my nurse. She just came in to be an extra and was there cheering me on, taking videos and taking pictures of our first moments together. And she, it wasn't something she even had to do. It wasn't part of her job description. And it was just from the ki kindness and goodness of her heart. And then days later, she messaged me and checked on us. And she, she just made that experience so much more special. And I'll never forget that in my life. And hey, my name is CJ Phillips. I'd like to nominate Savannah Freeman for going above and beyond for her patients during surgery and always taking great care of everyone. Someone that I think exemplifies kindness and goodness is um, all of my coworkers. Um, I work at a children's psychiatric hospital um, and it's, it's a tough job. Um, it's mostly a thankless job, at least from our patients. Um, and all of my coworkers, we all work uh, long hours coming in on our days off um, and they still come in every day with a desire to help those kids, um, treat them with kindness and respect. Um, and I think that they're, I just work with some really, really kind and really good people. So yeah. Physical and mental health are not only something to restore, but to preserve. Here's an example of what one agency does with that purpose in mind. Hi, my name is Lori Bradis, General Manager with Hillsborough County Aging Services Nutrition and Wellness Section. Today, I am nominating my colleague, Brian Taylor, who is our Registered Dietitian and Senior Program Coordinator within our department for one of the Active Kindness Awards. Brian is a true, genuine person who not only cares about our co-workers, employees, but he shows special and compassion to our seniors that he serves every single day. We have created a, an Eat Well, Age Well mobile food demonstration and cooking classes, and Brian engages the seniors every week with the cooking classes, providing the recipes and just wonderful little tidbits and snippets of history throughout Hillsborough County and throughout the world, depending on what he's cooking. Also, before COVID, Brian would go uh, to our facilities and he would help to create nutrition education. And instead of just talking about nutrition education, Brian would make it a really interactive segment with each of our seniors. And he really engaged them. Because of his compassion, his sheer desire to serve seniors, and just his skill sets alone as an exemplary employee, I am nominating Brian Taylor today. And Brian, can you just tell me how you feel about this nomination? I want to thank Lori and everyone that I work with for this nomination. I'm truly honored and I tell everybody I love my job. More so, I love the people that I work with who I think are like family and our clients or like our extended family who um, is there. I sometimes see them more than my wife and kids at times too. So I'm very honored and humbled and I thank you and it feels good to be recognized because we try our best here at Aging Services to provide education and entertainment to our clients that sometimes might be the only thing they have looking forward to in a day. So thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, my name's Stephanie, and I would like to nominate my coworker Patricia for always staying late and helping us when we need help with making sure our patients get out safe and are always taken care of. It, she always makes sure she takes care of the patients as best she can and makes sure that they have everything they need. Nurses and other healthcare workers are generally thought to be kind, but I would put our small independent community hospital of War Memorial Hospital in Sault Ste. Marie against any other in the country for overall kindness to everyone. Okay, I grant, you know, we falter now and again with shortages, with COVID. We're just frustrated and plain tired as everyone else, but random employees seeing 
anything that needs to be done for somebody. And they're going to go out of their way, not because it's their job, but because that's the type of people our hospital em employs. This is not top down. This is random. Every employee sees something and they take care of it. The person who can't, who is having a hard time getting to lab, get someone grabs a wheelchair and just with a smile, no judgment, and helps them there and make sure they can get back. The head of dietary department who goes out of his way to get that patient something that sound, finally sounds good because they haven't eaten for days and he goes out of his way to find it. The um, housekeeper who will give the nurse and doctor who've been stuck in a room doing procedures on a patient for hours and bring them orange juice so that they are taken care of just because she sees the need and is a kind person. All of these plus thousands of other examples put War Memorial Hospital in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan among the top kindest hospital uh, in the country. Thank you. Hey y'all, I'm Katie Holden and I'm a senior at Auburn University, War Eagle, <laughs> and I'm currently living in Hawaii. Um, I've been an intern for Kindness of the Heart slash For the Family, Inc. for about four months now, and it's been such an incredible experience. I've learned so much, um, and that leads me right into my nomination, which I'd like to nominate Mr. Ward Cox himself. He is the director of this company, and he really just embodies this whole company's mission and message to be kind and spread kindness, and that's exactly what he does. He is a ray of sunshine, and he is so encouraging and positive, and I really can't think of anyone better for this award other than him, because he deserves it. He is just the best, so nice. So yes, thank you, Ward, for this opportunity. Being an intern for you has been amazing. I've learned so much. Uh, yeah, so thanks, and bye. <laughs> I'd like to introduce my neighbor, Lucille Casey. And as you're noticing, she's going to share that she has an American flag and what she does for our community with it. Hi there. I am honored to help plant flags in our neighborhood with the help of my neighbors and the members of the Clearwater Community Women's Club, which is a part of the General Federation, the largest volunteer organization of women in the world internationally and the reason we like to do this is because one of our dear members of our club his grandfather all actually founded flag day in the united states as a way that children would be educated about the importance of the flag and how those who fought for our freedom and what it represents in addition to this i also sponsor some school children, high school and middle school age, in, what, in what's called our juniorettes. And what we do is we do crafts to make things for veterans, for those living in assisted living or other facilities, and or even the humane shelter. We made little dog toys this year. So, the, and we clean up the beach. So that's another thing. Uh, so I'm happy to say that these are acts of kindness that we're training our young people to do and I'm just very privileged that I can be part of that and join them. Hey, my name's Liam. Um, I like to nominate my roommate, Alex, because right now he's making his world famous Italian dish, bolognese, spicy bolognese. Um, he makes it with love and that's why he's my favorite roommate. Shout out, Alex. Hi, this is Nana from Hong Kong. And as an act of kindness, I would like to give a shout out to my colleague, uh, also my senior, uh, Eliza. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is uh, mostly because even though we're not really close, we don't really talk outside of work. She's always been super friendly, super accommodating. And uh, I'm usually 
finding myself at a disadvantage when it comes to like work you know girl person of color that kind of stuff but even then she made the working environment extremely extremely comfortable and uh, it felt very safe like I could express my concerns without uh, feeling judged and I really appreciate that about her I hope she knows that uh, all the hard work she puts into everything she does is noticed and that uh, uh, I, I know I notice it <laughs> uh, her efforts are noticed basically so yeah hi everyone my name is Gaurav Sham I'm from India and I'm going to talk about my sister Priyanka Sham as being one of the most kindest people I know and I've grown up with for my entire life and the main reason being Priyanka is always that kind of person even though she's not really social as a person uh, she would still love to go out of her way to uh, make the other person feel better and celebrate different occasions so she's always done that for her family and friends always been there for us and has never missed an occasion where you know she could make uh, the other person feel better and that I feel is very very um, strong as a quality for her because when there's an occasion be it a anniversary or birthday or um, anything for anyone in the family she's the first one to stand up and uh, make any sort of uh, you know initiative to celebrate and make sure the person feels comfortable happy and uh, celebrated so that's one of the main reasons I want to uh, nominate my sister as being one of the kindest people I know and um, also the fact that she has a huge heart uh, towards animals she's got a very soft spot for them and she's always been there to take care of them um, in India there is um, a special shelter uh, for animals and she's always there taking care of uh, these little animals and fostering them and finding them new homes uh, that's the kind of person I've known through my life and uh, I believe she's the kindest person I know hi my name is Bettina I'm originally from South Africa but I'm currently studying in the UK um, I just want to give a quick shout out as an act of kindness to one of my best friends um, for about 10 years now. <clears throat> we've been friends since the second grade and we've been through thick and thin together. She is everything to me. She supports me every step of the way and I do the same. Every time I go back home, I am dying to see her and likewise, I hope. And um, yeah, just a sh big shout out. Lots of love to my best friend, Polsky Aravello. Thank you so much. Hey, my name is Tanya, and I am going to be nominating my grandpa for Kindness of the Heart program. And like, I want him to be awarded the like, Person of the Year kind of award, I think, because he was one of the nicest people ever. He would help anyone he saw and he he always inspired me to be a better person myself and he always um, gave free food to everyone made them feel like they are at home etc and he made me feel like I'm the strongest girl in the world and the best girl in the world and it's a shame that he passed away so early Arrest. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Joachim de Sutter. I am from Belgium but I live in Hong Kong and uh, I would like to share with you that the kindest person I know is uh, Yves Severens. He used to be one of my colleagues back in Belgium when I was teaching and he is about the only person I know that has never said anything bad about anybody else. He's always trying to make everybody around him happy, he will do everything to keep the peace and like I said he uh, he never says anything about anyone uh, negative anything negative about anyone like he won't talk he won't do gossip or anything like that he just believes there's good in every single person and you just have to try your best to find it basically so that's why I nominate him he's definitely the kindest person I know thank you Mexico. I live here most of my life except for now. Uh, there's a lot of nice people in my life. Uh, one of them is my mom, especially my parents, I would say. Uh, my mom has always been there for me, helping me um, 
obviously like as a mom should um, give you the, the like provide you with things that you need um, but also she does provide me with a lot of extra things support love you know all those things uh, that some moms do not give so uh, she's hi my name is Mara Sheikh and I'm from Mississauga Canada today I want to shout out my best friend Sajita Lagu we have known each other for about 10 years and throughout these 10 years she's been the most amazing and supportive friend that anyone can ever ask for no matter how busy she is she always makes time for me and I remember one time where I told her I was feeling sad and she came over to my house with a bunch of my favorite chocolates and candies and spent a lot of time just talking to me and hanging out and I really appreciate everything that she does. Thank you. My name is Anthony and something positive that someone did for me this week was really take the time to hear what I had to say. Um, I was feeling very stressed out and they essentially sat down with me and listened to my story and that really affected my whole entire perspective and I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Um, my manager Janice, uh, she hears me a lot. She's a really nice person. Every time I need uh, my schedule to change or the, any concern I have, she's always there to listen to me and fix it right away. I appreciate that a lot for her. Hi, my name is Nancy Tran and I'd like to nominate Daniel Bowie, who is such a sweet and loving person. He is just so kind and selfless to others and he inspires me to be the best version of myself. Hi, my name is Don Trell, and I would like to nominate my friend, Abby Ray. Abby Ray has been one of the most hardworking ladies that I've ever met. She is also very dedicating to helping around with children and in the daycare. And whenever her parents are not around the house, she was take care, watching the dogs from there or watching dogs, housekeeping over her neighbors across the street. Abby, Abby is one of the individuals who is willing to help and educate young adults or young kids seeking for help. Hi, my name is Anthony and something positive that someone did for me this week was really take the time to hear what I had to say. Um, I was feeling very stressed out and they essentially sat down with me and listened to my story and that really affected my whole entire perspective and I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Um, my manager Janice, uh, she hears me a lot. She's a really nice person. Every time I need uh, my schedule to change or the, any concern I have, she's always there to listen to me and fix it right away. I appreciate that a lot for her. My name is Nancy Tran and I'd like to nominate Daniel Bowie, who is such a sweet and loving person. He is just so kind and selfless to others and he inspires me to be the best version of myself. Hi, my name is Don Trell and I would like to nominate my friend Abby Ray. Abby Ray has been one of the most hardworking ladies that I've ever met. She is also very dedicating to helping around with children and in the daycare. And whenever her parents are not around the house, she was take care, watching the dogs from there or watching dogs, housekeeping over her neighbors across the street. Abby, Abby is one of the individuals who is willing to help and educate young adults or young kids seeking for help. something positive that someone did for me this week was really take the time to hear what I had to say. Um, I was feeling very stressed out and they essentially sat down with me and listened to my story and that really affected my whole entire perspective and I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Um, my manager Janice, uh, she hears me a lot. She's a really nice person. Every time I need uh, my schedule to change or the, any concern I have, 
She's always there to listen to me and fix it right away. I appreciate that a lot for her. Hi, my name is Nancy Tran and I'd like to nominate Daniel Bui, who is such a sweet and loving person. He is just so kind and selfless to others and he inspires me to be the best version of myself. Hi, my name is Don Trell and I would like to nominate my friend Abby Ray. Abby Ray has been one of the most hardworking ladies that I've ever met. She is also very dedicated to helping around with children and in the daycare. And whenever her parents are not around the house, she will take care of watching the dogs from there or watching the dogs housekeeping over her neighbors across the street. Abby, Abby is one of the individuals who is willing to help and educate young adults or young kids seeking for help.